Hi, this is Michael Bay, and welcome to the Criterion Edition of Armageddon. Why is there a Criterion Edition of Armageddon? <coughs> Presidents of movies are bad, I think. United States government just asked us to save the world. It's so brief, and it, it goes to show you that Bay pays attention to like the littlest, tiniest things. I don't think anyone who saw the movie noticed that I'm a little edgy line, but every time I see Michael, he's like, how you doing, are you edgy? <laughs> At NASA here, we tried to sexy it up. I actually did see Deep Impact. I was invited, believe it or not, to the premiere, which is at Paramount, and God, it seemed like everyone was looking at me. Now, this was, this line was added after we did some test screenings about gravity, because people, believe it or not, they have their own theories on gravity. Uh, it's a weird fact, but it's a very, very true fact. Basically, it smells like the tubes from your mom's old TV set she had in the 50s. Stunt acting is always fun to watch. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, this was a dog trained specifically to kill do Godzilla dolls, and he was shipped in from New York City at the price of $20,000, and he really did rip the shit out of those dolls. I remember talking to people that were living in a habitat for three months. They recycled their piss and drank it as water, and, uh, you know, they were watching The Rock that night. You know, although sometimes I think Michael would rather just make movies without actors, but... So, I'm dead serious. I don't like presidents in movies. I've had so many, particularly younger kids, like 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, girls and guys come up to me and say it's the best movie I've ever seen. They look truly genuine with their face when they're saying it's the best movie I've ever seen. Look, slow motion, that was my you know, indoctrination to like Michael Badum, you know what I mean? I, he was like, you just jump off the thing, it's in slow motion and the explosions are behind you. And I thought, well, I've arrived. A lot of times I really was upstage by what was going on around me, I felt. Like I'm the best espresso maker there is in Manhattan. How do you know? Who's keeping track of these things? When NASA launches a shuttle, they have a guy that sits on a kill switch. They have a guy that has his finger near a button where it's a self-destruct button. Now, I know there's no fire in space, but it is a movie, and most people don't know that. If I were ever to own a strip club, I guess this is what it would look like. And then we had all this high-tech stuff, and then we'd do this, like, really low-tech weightlessness where, like, Michael would just put the camera there and say, like, act like you're floating, you know, where you'd just sort of have to bounce around, and I was really bad at that. And Michael was like, didn't they teach you this in acting school? And I said, no, Michael, you know, they don't teach weightless mime at acting school. Since then, I've seen sharks face to face, and it's okay. In reality, these guys, the vacuum would, would suck their faces out, and blood would come from every single orifice. It's something that you can't put in a PG-13 movie. Michael kept saying, this is your hero shot. You come running out, and you're the hero. We had so many space questions. You know, this movie was criticized by the critics quite a bit. I don't want to die with my panties in a bunch. God bless America. This video has been brought to you by Root Beer Bottle Caps. Root Beer Bottle Caps, the best candy. And also by A Big Wheel of Brie. Hit the smash the like thing button and push the bell and subscribe. That's backwards. Subscribe, hit the bell, push the like button. Help me. <laughs> subscribe, please.